Hello, and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our 21st Inkscape tutorial. Visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a website using Inkscape. So, I'm going to start out here in Paintbrush, and we're going to set up our layout. You don't have to use paintbrush, you can just use a pencil and a piece of paper to set this up, which is what I do most of the time. You have to get all your math done in advance before you uh, before you actually go into Inkscape. So you're gonna see what I'm talking about here. I'm just gonna roughly go through what we're talking about. So I'm gonna set up my website by just drawing out some basic areas that I'm gonna want. Uh, maybe a header, a sidebar, um, a link tab here for the top. Uh, this could be our text area where some text is going to be with a central area there being for images and this bottom area being a footer. I didn't mean for this to be open so I'm going to close that up there. And um, yeah, that's basically just a real rough layout of what we want. Now each one of these areas is going to have its own size and we're going to have to have these sizes exact to the pixel. I already have the math figured out so it's going to be 925 by 642 for the entire area. This is the entire website. The header itself is going to be 925 by 160. Excuse my handwriting. The sidebar is 195 by 350. The uh, picture area is 500 by 300. The text area is 230 by 300. Our link bar up here at the top is 730 by 50. And the bottom footer area is 925 by 132. So this is our basic layout here. Um, just do this on a piece of paper. And then when you go into Inkscape, you'll already have all your numbers figured out. So that'll be it'll be much easier once you get into Inkscape. So now I'm just gonna grab a square tool here. I'm going to draw out a square and we don't want a stroke so we see that big blue stroke on there we're going to go to stroke and cut it off push the X and let's make the fill kind of a blue color here now I'm going to set these exact numbers that I've already figured out into the width and height areas up here at the top okay so 925 by 160 alright that's the size of the the header. I'm not going to place it in place yet. I'm just going to leave it sitting there for now. Don't waste your time trying to place it into place. I'm doing the same thing with the sidebar here. It's going to be 195 by 300. Just leave it sitting there or move it out of the way a little bit. Uh, link bar is 730 by 50. photo area is 500 by 300 and you can set this up for any layout you want you don't have to do it anything like this one and uh, you're gonna see why here shortly why this is so great text area 230 by 300 it's gonna make it basically so that each one of these little areas that you've created you can go through and apply your uh, whatever type of design you want to to them and then your pixels are going to be already lined out 925 by 132 for the bottom area there alright now we're going to have to place these in place and we're going to do it precisely we're going to do it with precision so you're going to need to know about the X and the Y axis the Y axis moves up and down just like this along your screen and the x-axis moves left to right and so the y-axis moves from the bottom to the top x-axis from left to the right so zero, zero would be to the very, very most bottom left corner of your page and the bottom left corner of each one of these blocks here is going to be the point where it will be attached when you type it into the X and Y axis. It's not going to be the center or anything else. It's going to be the bottom left corner. Alright, so we're going to place each one precisely. To start with, we're going to place the uh, header and we're going to place it at 
zero because it's up against the x-axis so zero for x and 482 for y and the reason it's 482 for y is if you add if you take the total area which is 642 for the total area's height then you take 350 and 132 which is the sidebar and the footer add those together which is 482 so 482 is going to be where the bottom left corner is on the y-axis it's not going to be 642 because that would be the top left corner all right now we're going to place in place the uh, sidebar and i'm not going to go through the math on each one of these um, so you can listen i'm going to i'll call out the math for you you know and tell you where i'm placing them and you can kind of see what i'm doing but you're going to have to do the math for yourself on each one of these i definitely uh, had to get it done in advance because i would definitely embarrass myself on here uh, zero by 132 was the sidebar yeah. if i tried to do math in front of you here on video i guarantee you i would be embarrassed okay uh, 195 by 432 was the nav bar there uh, the picture area is 195 by 132 and the text area is 694 by 132 and you see these things are just falling into place just like a puzzle and of course the footer is going to be what zero zero because it's the bottom left portion of your um, of your creation here so it's going to be at zero zero everything starts here and it, of course it placed it right into place and this is uh, this is your basic layout here now uh, what you would do, and I won't be covering in this in this tutorial, is uh, taking each one of these areas here, and you would create designs in them. Then you would take those designs, and uh, they would be ready to go right into your website. You wouldn't have to do anything else to them as far as sizing wise, because they would already be sized perfectly. You uh, wouldn't have to worry about any of the any of the stuff besides designing after this so you design each area and you can apply it as a background or just as a foreground image on your website and uh, we won't be covering any web development until way later as far as actual HTML and coding but uh, for now you should know that this is how it's done with Inkscape as far as getting things set up I really do hope you th that you have enjoyed this video if you uh, didn't understand any part I hope you will uh, go back and review it um, but thanks so much for watching.